Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out on the launch pad today because I finally got another contract to do a three-person crewed orbital, and I think I have a design that actually works. Uh, I would put this in the micro shuttle range. Uh, minor testing has proved successful, uh, although I've never done a top-down uh, all-out flight with this because it's actually cheaper just to build it and launch one than it is to run a full simulation where you can get to orbit and then deorbit and try to land. Uh, it is considerably smaller than STS-3 or STS-2 or 1, which were essentially the same. Uh, so the delivery vehicle is a bit smaller. Uh, our booster stage, still we don't have solid rocket motors powerful enough to carry it, are powered by uh, four E1 Advanced, which are insanely powerful engines. The shuttle, being as small as it is, only needs two uh, J2S engines to get it to orbit, and it's got a single AJ-10 Advanced for uh, onboard maneuvering. Um, we'll get to more about the shuttle and its cargo and payload and stuff like that after we get it airborne. Uh, Alice Campbell is our uh, mission commander. She's at the flight controls today, bringing along with her Bob Kerman and Nina whose last name I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but <laughs> we've got our throttle pegged. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ignition sequence underway. And we're lit. Let's get these clamps off. And we're going. And just a little surge to the 270 after liftoff. But these, uh, these E1 Advance provide a ridiculous amount of thrust. <laughs> We can actually uh, start pitching back almost instantly with these things. Because there is no real fear of us uh, not having enough thrust. Now, the uh, orbiter does have tapered wings, as you can see there. Which, uh, which means it wants to right itself through the airflow. And if you're going up upside down, that does create a little bit of a problem in some wiggle or there's an imbalance that I haven't been able to figure out yet, but as far as I know, everything is actually balanced. There's no that, there's no fuel imbalancing or one thing that has fuel and another thing that doesn't, so I'm just going to kind of sit here and hope for the best. Uh, I'm very confident we can get to orbit, but the problem with all of my shuttle designs has always not been getting to orbit rather getting home. Ah yes, and there's some of that uh, aerodynamic wiggle I was telling you about. Kicks in right at about Mach 1. It doesn't do it without the external tank or if you're in level flight. It's just if you're inverted like this, it wants to dance around a little bit. But uh, So I'm going to concentrate more on flying this damn thing than uh, telling you about how much it sucks. So I will see all of you guys in orbit. All right. Well, we were we have to keep our uh, apogee below 350 kilometers. We've already exceeded that a little bit, but no worries. We can make some corrections. We will, however, have to burn to adjust our or get our periapsis into something that resembles orbital. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to rid ourselves of this uh, liquid hydrogen tank, our uh, EFT. But to do that, we're going to uh, dump into it. Out. Eh, it's not gonna let me. All right. Well, lock, lock. There we go. In. <laughs> that shifted quite a bit of mass. All right. Uh, I think that's all that we should have on board. Let me just double check. Yep. Yeah. And uh, th these tanks should be empty. This tank has nothing in it to begin with. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and uh, give this tank a nudge. And away it goes. Pull ourselves away. 
Okay, yeah, we're not actually banging into it. No big deal. <laughs> You've been uh, very good to us. We will not uh, waste ignitions when we have no fuel. And, uh, yeah, make sure throttle set to zero and stage in our AJ-10. A good clean roll. Get ourselves at least pointed roughly in the direction of our uh, apoapsis here. Or of our prograde vector. Very sorry. And just as soon as we're clear of this tank, uh, we got about nine minutes until we get to our apoapsis. I would like to fire the engine a bit before then. I'm certain our thrust to weight ratio is quite low. Yeah, and we certainly need to get above this tank. So we'll just try to raise ourselves up above it. That should do it. And more small corrections to the angle. All right. There we go. That engine's good and ulaged, but we're going to go ahead and time warp around just a bit. Oh, it's going to be nighttime. I guess in the meantime, however, I want to double check that our uh, electric charge... Okay, we are showing a draw. Not a problem. Open! See, normally this thing would be very capable of doing satellite deployments and whatnot, but uh, we need to have three crew on board to satisfy the contract, so I've included this little crew canister. Uh, it does have its own generator in there, but uh, even with the aid of some uh, RTGs, it's just not quite enough to keep us going. But with these two panels deployed, eh, still showing a draw. Not a big deal. <laughs> uh, they only need to be up here for about 12 days. So really, I am in no way surprised that we've got a draw going. And we're also not... Well, I guess they are seeing... Yeah, it's on exposure 1. Uh, .85. Also not the best solar panels, but they would, in fact, clear the bay, which is what we needed them to do. So, alright, we're going to get ourselves flattened up to the horizon. There we go. And just a, a little bit of time warp. We'll probably get within uh, three or four minutes of the node here. We'll start to readjust ourselves. I don't know how long it's going to take. It, I mean, that's not a whole lot to make up. So let's just go ahead and light that engine. There we go. Uh, it's still a little off balance. Oh, I guess I put it in when these tanks still had fuel in them. Oops. So it's a little bit low. Alright, I, I should have waited a little while longer. So I don't know how much off angle I'm going to have to adjust this to start uh, bringing our apoapsis down. But I would like it below 350 kilometers. But if we have to make another lap to... Uh, bring that back, then, you know, no big deal. I guess that's exactly what we'll do. But this, uh, this heading seems to be working out for us, and I'm... SAS pretty much has the helm. I'm not doing much. We could probably go with two of these AJ-10s. Although, that might just be a bit excessive. The, uh, the OMS was not designed for high-speed maneuvering, <laughs> as it were. Uh, this is just supposed to be that last 400 or so meters per second to nudge the shuttle into orbit. This has uh, way more on board. Although not as much as I thought. That's interesting. We do have another uh, four and a half minutes of fuel. Maybe I should not have ditched that tank. Rut row. Because <laughs> we need some of this fuel to fire RCS to keep us stable on the way back in. I guess based on our rate of change, I think we're going to be okay. At least to get to orbit and maybe a little beyond.
Hmm. Well, it is uh, what I would consider a micro shuttle. <laughs> so I'm not surprised we don't have a kilometer, two kilometers per second of delta V like we did with the uh, STS one through three. That's a fairly impressive shot there, I have to say. I kind of wanted to use the ground one for the screeny for this episode, but this might be our thumbnail. That's really nice. I love how those things just kind of happen. Yeah, need to adjust our angle down. Oh, there's the screen change. We are gaining altitude on our apoapsis again. I don't know if that's worth adjusting it out or not. Like, maybe I should just stop this burn. Okay, we're orbital. That's above 150, so all I have to do is get to there and just break a little bit, and we'll be good to go. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get around to doing that. While I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know? At least we're, we're out of the atmosphere. So, let's give them a lap. minute and some coin. That's not too bad, right? Now, there is an eccentricity requirement, although I don't remember off the top of my head what it is, so let's find out here. Uh, yeah, 90 days. We're not going to do that. <laughs> eccentricity below dot one four nine two. That's We've already got that in the bag, so all we have to do is get this apoapsis down. By just a little bit, which... No, let's just light it up. Okay, there we go. Oh, below 325. Oh. Let me just make sure... Okay, good. <laughs> the uh, last AJ-10 advance we had only had four ignitions. So this one has unlimited. So, we can do this all day. There we go. 11 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes left, and all we have to do is bring them home safely. That really is the difficult part, isn't it? All right, well, I am also going to try to angle them in to get their solar panels into the most light all the time. Whoa, what are you doing, man? Watch that electric charge, dot five nine, dot three nine. If we can get it into the like dot four, dot two, four, I think is what we got it down to at last. That should be pretty good, I would say. Although we'll just give it a couple taps more. There we go, where are we at? Oh, wrong screen. <laughs> uh, dot one six. I'll take that. Not a big deal at all. All right, and we'll deactivate our RCS and our SAS system. Although I don't know why that started to induce a little bit of a roll, but no big deal. All right, well, here's this crew safely in orbit, and we're going to leave them here for about 12 days. We've got a few other things to attend to in the meantime. But uh, I think uh, we're just going to enjoy a nice short episode. I know I've been dumping some rather long ones out lately, but um, so <laughs> enjoy the quick one. And uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I don't have a name for this thing. So if you've got any suggestions, uh, keep in mind the theme of the, the last few shuttles. Um, so if you want to suggest a name or... Uh, something for this shuttle i'm all ears so leave them for me right down there in the comments i always love hearing from you guys and uh, thank you so much for hanging out i do appreciate it and i'll see all of you in the next one so until then see you later